If you only ever use CapCut on mobile, you're missing out. The new desktop version adds next level AI tools that do all the work for you. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today we're diving into CapCut's brand new AI video maker, a tool designed to take editing to the next level. Before we break it down, here's the most important part. Click the link in the description below, hit download and install CapCut on your computer. This is where you're gonna get the full AI video maker experience. Once installed, go ahead and open up CapCut on your desktop. To give you a taste of what's possible, check out this short video that I created using just the AI features inside CapCut. Pretty wild stuff. Now we're gonna jump right into things. CapCut is already known as one of the most powerful free editors out there, but now they've added AI-driven tools that completely change the workflow. Now, once you've signed into CapCut, you're gonna land on the main dashboard. From here, you're gonna see all the different AI features. Now I'm just on the home selection on the left-hand side, and under more tools, you're gonna see features like long videos to short, AI dialogue scene, AI fashion model, AI video, enhanced quality. So there's a bunch of features in here ready to go. Right now we're going to jump into the first demo. So I'm going to come on over to AI dialogue scene right here. Now, once we click on that, this is going to jump us over to the built in editor. So for AI dialogue scene, all we have to do is upload a character photo, add a script, and it's going to go ahead and bring our character to life. So here's the photo that I'm going to go with. This is just an AI generated photo of somebody on a hike. To me, this looks like a great candidate to give this feature a go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and punch in my dialogue. So let's go ahead and do that. Just a quick little script, which would be fitting for this type of photo. We can also upload audio as well, but I'm going to go with a script. Now this is where we get to select our voice. So there are a bunch of different voices to go through everything from like a Mickey Mouse to something a bit more spooky to an evil genius. We even got a Harry Potter character down here. So there are a bunch of different voices to go with. We can preview them as well. Now I'm just going to come on over and click on Blake right here. Let's go ahead and hit preview. I'm about halfway up the trail right now. And honestly, this view makes every step worth it. All right. This one sounds great to me and we do have it selected. We can also click more settings right here. Let's go ahead and open that up. We can adjust the speed, but let's go ahead and close this. Everything is looking good to me. It's super simple here. We've got our character, we've got our script and we've got our voice. All we have to do is click on generate right here. Let's Let's do it. Once you do that, we have our character that pops up in the preview, and then we're going to see our video in the bottom here and how far along our clip is coming along so we can see that in real time. Looks like our video is ready to go. Let's go ahead and click play right here. I'm about halfway up the trail right now. And honestly, this view makes every step worth it. The air is so fresh, you can literally smell the pine. All right, this is looking extremely lifelike. This was generated in no time at all. I'm gonna come on over to the very top and click on export. And then here is my video. I can export this to my computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on export in Ultra HD right here. There we go. So CapCut instantly creates the scene. We've got the character, dialogue animation, and even accurate lip sync. So when it comes to other use cases, you can think of short films or skits without filming actors, maybe some sort of storytelling content, or even explainers or brand ads with characters. Now, normally creating something like this would mean juggling editing software, third-party AI voice and voice gen platforms, but CapCut takes care of all that with one feature. All right, next up, we're gonna jump into AI fashion models. So let's come on over to the homepage and click on the box right here. So turn your clothing photos into on-model images with one click. Let's click right here. So what we're going to do here is upload a piece of clothing. Let's click on upload requirements just to give us an idea of the type of clothing that we want to upload. We can even use full body model shots as well. And we want to stay away from images where we're not getting a sense of the entire clothing item in the shot. Let's go ahead and close this. Now I just came across this graphic tee online. So we've got this Los Angeles graphic tee, kind of a baggy tee that could be worn by really anybody. So here is the t-shirt uploaded. Now we can select up to four poses at a time. So in other words, we're going to put this clothing item on four different poses. So we can choose a recommended pose. So I'm going to choose up to four. You can even choose pets as well. You can come over to AI and you can even prompt the model right here. So I actually did that. So here is the model that I went ahead and prompted. So I'm actually going to select this as one of the poses. You can upload a picture. So maybe you want to upload a picture of yourself. And then we're going to choose a couple 
couple of the recommended shots as well. So why don't we do this guy right here and let's do this one as the third one. We've got this girl with the green sweater. So she's gonna be wearing our shirt. And then why don't we go with this one right here. So we've got four selected. We've got our graphic tee. We've got our four poses selected. Let's go ahead and click on generate. All right, let's have a look at our model. So this turned out extremely well. Now you can see the detail in the shirt. It's very fine detail. So this is looking extremely accurate. So we've got our first model. For the next one, we have it on the guy as well. So here we go. We've got the third one fitted quite nicely. And then we have the fourth one as well. So these turned out extremely well. If I'd like to, I can come over to any of our generations and go ahead and save it to our desktop, or I could even generate a video from this. Let's go ahead and close this. We are talking in just a couple of seconds. I've got a bunch of different AI models featuring the exact clothing piece that I'm interested in. So there is no need to hire models or worry about photo shoots. You can generate pro level AI models in minutes, no matter what your use case is or what kind of generation that you want to create. All right, now we are going to jump into the next one. I'm going to come on over to the templates on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and click this. Now this is super cool. When you come over to templates, you're going to see all these viral templates, these video generations that others have used. And there is some really cool stuff here. Now you might actually recognize some of these from whatever you're scrolling social media on. For example, let's have a look right here. Let's come on over to a couple of these. Okay, let's come over to this one over here. Now here's the best part. If you find something that you wanna replicate, you can use that template. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. We're gonna come over to this one right here. Let's say I want to use this one. So I'm going to click on use template right here. Now this is going to jump us over to the editor and all I have to do is change out all the inputs right here. So all these photos with whatever kind of photos that I want to put in. So maybe I want to replicate this whole look, but I want to do more of a photo realistic downtown photo shoot, let's say. So I actually generated a bunch of different images for this exact use case. By the way, if I click right here, I can scroll through the play header just like this and I can go ahead and check everything out. Now, if I come on over right here, I can replace any of these inputs. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do that super quick. I'm gonna come on over to my downtown photo shoot. So I have a bunch of different photos and we're gonna go ahead and do this one together. So let's go ahead and replace this one at a time. All right, we've got all of our inputs ready to go. Everything else is kept the exact same. So I'm just scrubbing through the playhead. I'm super happy with this. I'm just gonna come on over to the left-hand side. I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna briefly just scrub through to give us an idea of what our generation is going to look like. This is looking really cool. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come on over to the very top. Of course, everything else is kept the exact same because we don't really want to change too much of the template. I just want to change the photos. So I'm going to come on over here and click on export. Let's do that. We're going to export this in ultra HD. Let's do that right here. Of course, you can pick the normal one as well. I just wanted to go with the ultra HD. Why not? And it's just going to go ahead and generate and we're going to have that exact same look, but with our own content this time. All right, our video is ready to go. If we'd like to, we could export this to TikTok or YouTube. There's a few other settings as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that video that we generated, so we're gonna watch it together. Let's do it. There we go. So that turned out fantastic. That is really, really cool stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and close everything. So as I said, all you have to do is come on over to the templates. There is nothing stopping you from replicating it and adding in your own inputs. Now, if you tried to build some of these templates from scratch, it is gonna take you a while to create. Now, being able to use these templates mean you can replicate a viral video, a viral look in literally no time at all. And this is honestly a ton of fun to use. All right, it is time for 
for some final thoughts. Now, the best part is that CapCut AI Video Maker is completely free to get started from AI dialogue scenes to avatars to viral plug and play video templates. CapCut makes pro level editing accessible for everybody. So be sure to head on over to the link in the description below. Go ahead and install CapCut today and let AI handle your next video project. With all that, good luck and have fun with your creations.